Uh, my name is Leland Hedges, and I'm the head of the European business for Pico, based out of Barcelona, and we're here at VR Days. I grow the business, so Pico has been in operation in Europe for about two years, and we have uh, we do headsets. So we are a headset manufacturer, and our headsets are designed to be the best headsets for enterprise, for business customers. The Pico company is originally from China. Uh, that's where our headquarters is. And here in Europe, we work mostly with medical and with location-based entertainment and with uh, training, workforce, education. So, With VR, AR, XR, I mean, uh, it's amazing to see the ideas that our developers come up with and how they are able to bring life-changing uh, products to market, especially in the world of medical, when you're able to help people who are suffering from depression or phobia, or if you're talking about location entertainment, you're able to create these magical new experiences for people. And then in training, obviously, we've seen a ton of evidence that says that VR-based training is much more effective than watching content on your laptop or, or uh, sitting in a seminar. Obviously, you know, um, when you're in the VR experience, your, your focus is really 100% dedicated to the content that you're, that you're interacting with. And that's a huge advantage for a lot of training situations. Um, also, things related to cost. I should stop because I'm rambling. Sure, I mean, there's still... This is the beginning of something. And so you will see, the earlier you get into it, the more chances you're going to have to make an impact. Like, um, it's, a, it's a new industry. There's all types of positions available at companies, technical people, marketing, sales, uh, business. So I think if you get into VR, the earlier, if you are passionate about immersive interactive technology, and then the earlier you can get into VR, like you're just going to have this chance to, to be involved with things when they're new versus, you know, most jobs, most careers, most professions have been around for a long time. And it's great to learn a, a trade or a skill, but that industry is maybe not changing that fast. In VR, everything's changing all the time. I was super fortunate. I was working at a video game company, PlayStation, which has made a headset, and I was on the team that got to uh, evaluate new ideas to see what they would, what could happen. And so I got to work on PSVR when it was. Uh, when it was called Project Morpheus, when it was a prototype, and uh, was able to bring that device to trade shows and show it to people and, and basically uh, evangelize VR from almost the beginning. So I've been doing this for more than five years, which in VR is a long time. Um, but yeah, ever since the second I saw Morpheus and played a really broken demo of Half-Life, I knew that uh, I was going to work in VR for, for the rest of my career or at least until it turns into something else. I think it's great. I think it's a fantastic program to help people uh, make it switch or skill up. Um, obviously, there is a huge gap between the number of people who know how to do uh, programming and coding and art and all of the technical parts of VR versus what we're going to need in the future. I mean, many people have seen and you can easily do some online search that um, interactive immersive entertainment and content is going to be uh, needed across almost every industry so having people who are animators who are programmers it's a great it's a great profession to switch from if you're doing well anyway it's i think it's a great time to invest in those skills